Hello, I'm back on the garage cladding job today, so hopefully we'll make a bit of progress with that. Um, I'll just show you what it looks like inside because it's quite surprising how, how different that looks. Oh, the plaster's still a bit wet, but it, um, it's come out really nice in there, considering it's a, it's a garage conversion. So obviously Sparky's got to come back and put the lights on, um, some skirting board on and a bit of a clear up and then yeah, but quite impressive really. So same as before, we've got to try and get as much of this cladding on today and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a coat up just so we get an idea of this end product really. So we're getting there, window reveal's done, it's a nice chunky window reveal, put the end cap on down there, so we've just got to fathom out a bit to go around these gutter brackets, and we can start this side. Yeah, it needs uh, all the gutter reveals took out. that up see what that looks like see how far the measurements are out that side doesn't look too bad hey look at that spot on so we're going to try and get round this window today To this door. Yeah, you turn the bits around. It's like a big old game of Tetris. There we go, filling in the holes. Coming to it now. Jack getting all artistic. Yeah, attach that bit to it first and then put it on. Or unless you can put them in at an angle, you might be able to put them back. Let me see if I can get them in at an angle. I can fix this in. So we've finished for today, well we've run out of screws so but we've done pretty good, it's up to nearly up to the door, just got a couple of more bits to put in there and we can get on the other side of the door, all the window reveals done and what I'm going to do is do a tiny little bit of the staining so you can see what the overall effect's going to be while Jack's tidying up. Just do a little sample piece, this is a bit like when we do the carvings and put the wax on suddenly brings all the grains up So initially this is going to look very very dark but within a day or two that will lighten up and you'll start seeing all the different um, grain types coming through. Certainly makes a old 60s concrete shed look a bit different. I think it's very effective. We're about finished here on the um, garage conversion so I'll show you the sort of final touches still got to be decorated but 
my job's done so I'll show you the cladding because that's come out really well this is the cladding it's had one coat so and I think we've got to put another one on in a week or two just to but I think that looks really cool it's made that the old garage looks something something special so really pleased with that how that's come out built the window so we'll just put the glass in that today um, you can start to see the tones in the wood all the different where it's lighter and darker that'll look, that'll get better with age and then give it another coat in another couple of weeks darken it right up so that's that looks like an old barn now and I'll show you inside because even that's come out quite good really cool in here now for garage conversion this is pretty good plastering's good it's all dried off ready for a coat of paint nice little window in there built the door today and that's all done so made that because it's a little thin door skirt is still to attach but obviously it's flooring got to go down but all in all pretty good so we're out of here Thanks for watching the video, we'll catch you on the next one, take care.